someone on the Retroid Discord just shared this resource with me a little while ago, and honestly, I'm pretty intrigued. The thought of being able to compress your ROMs directly on Android was something I definitely had to check out. Looking at the Reddit post here, looks like the first thing that we need to do is to download Termix. Then we have to copy this command in, so let's try this on our Android device and see how well it works. I'm curious to see. Do you guys think it's going to work? Let's check it out. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do here is download Termix. Let's go ahead and download that now. While that's downloading, I'm going to go ahead and copy this first command here that we need to paste in it. Let's go ahead and install Termix. Might have to give it permissions to install depending if you haven't done that or not. With Termix open, let's run that first command. This command here gives Termix access to your files so you can select the ROMs that you need to compress. We then need to run the update and upgrade script, so let's do that next. Once that's done, just go ahead and say yes to upgrade. Then it's going to go ahead and complete the update. When it asks if you want to keep your default configuration, just press N for no. Just keep going ahead down here and selecting the default answers. There we go. So everything's updated. We have to run the package install next, so let's do that now. Just say yes then let it continue updating. After that, we have to run this script here to get chdman set up. This is what does the compressing of the ROMs. Once that's been saved, we should be able to move to the next step. After that, type in source space chdman.sh. This will install it onto the device. That takes a couple minutes, but once that's done, it's going to ask us where our games are installed, and it's looking for the absolute path. So the best way to get that is to open our file explorer. I've gone ahead and created a folder in my downloads with the ROM that I want to compress. To get the path here, all we have to do is to go to the folder where it is, select the folder, go to your properties, and then click on this and hit copy. Then load up Termix again and just paste it in. Keep Termix minimized when you're swapping between these two so you don't lose your progress. Go ahead and press enter. So likely the reason it didn't work was it looks like here it was trying to convert an ISO image to CHD. I was using a CDI image so I'm going to try with an ISO just to see if that works. If you lose your progress you're going to have to open it again. Then you're going to have to put the path in. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And it's definitely working now. So this is pretty cool. We're actually compressing an image file directly on Android natively. When it's done, it's going to ask you if you want to remove the original file. Because I already have this backed up, I'm just going to say yes, and it'll delete that. And there you go. So every time you want to convert an image, all you have to do is type source space chdman.sh, then post in the folder where you're trying to convert. The original ISO came in at 480 megabytes, so we've compressed that down to 310. That's not bad. CHD files are definitely a good way to save some storage on your emulation devices. I also did a little bit of compression on PC as well, just to see if there was any comparison difference between the two and both topped out at 310 megabytes. Obviously it was way quicker compressing the file on my 5800X, but that's pretty cool how you can do it on Android now as well. I'll make sure to leave a link to this Reddit post in the description below so you can copy and paste all these commands in. If you scroll down here a little bit too, this guy down here shows you how to convert them from CUE to CHD. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.